Islip Arts Council's Teenies Revisited 2021 is brought to you by the generous support of Suffolk County, Five Towns College. Finding the right fit for your future college years is closer than you think. And Islip Rotary, service above self. And now here's your host, Brianna Kocha. Hi, my name is Brianna Kocha and I'm one of your hosts for the Teenies this year. When I was in high school, I worked as a stagehand for a lot of local productions. And now I'm working backstage doing sound at one of the fabulous local theaters here on Long Island. I'm here to remind you to stay at it, to stay true to your passions because dreams really do come true. For the past 12 years, the Islip Arts Council Teenies have celebrated the accomplishments of high school theater throughout the town of Islip. This year, some high schools put on virtual shows while other schools opted to postpone performances until next year. The one thing all of our schools have in common is that our students continued to be creative through the historic pandemic. Their love and passion for the arts were undeterred. For that, they all deserve to be celebrated. The Teenies Revisited 2021 individually celebrates each high school program. You will get to see excerpts from each school's performance or original numbers created just for our cameras. Students and faculty will share how the arts help guide them through the quarantine and remote learning. In the coming weeks, the Islip Arts Council will ensure that all Long Island gets to witness the creativity, talent, and enthusiasm of the performing arts students in the town of Islip. During the Teenies in-person events, we were able to show performances from other schools. Well, don't let this be any different this year. Enjoy our profile of your school, but also be inspired by the creativity and stories from other schools. To all our students, this pandemic took away your opportunity to perform for a live audience, to hear that thunderous applause after a great performance, and to receive the voices of praise and love from all your fellow actors. But look at what you did achieve. Cherish your memories. Some of you have graduated and are moving on to other walks. Congratulations. For those of you who are looking forward to resuming theater or chorus and more, we join you in looking forward to 2022 when we get back to the regular Teenies program. Until then, keep the arts in your life and use your talent to brighten someone else's day. And now it is my pleasure to present to you the West Islip High School Theater Program. Feed me! I will not, so stop asking. Hi, my name is Jake. I played Seymour in West Islip High School's production of Little Shop of Horrors, and I'm a graduating senior. My favorite discipline is dancing. And it is most important for me to express creativity as much as I can because during the school day, we don't really have as much opportunities to do so. And uh, through performing arts is really where I get to express myself and be myself. In the beginning of the year, we didn't think we were gonna be doing a show. So we were able to perform Little Shop of Horrors for a recording. And we were able to do it for a really, really select audience of family members and friends, which was so nice and great. Um, some challenges were that we still had to wear clear masks that covered our face and our nose completely. We had to social distance a lot of our blocking. Um, which means that we had to cut out a lot of things like if there's a kiss scene or any touching we had to cut out of our show. It also posed the uh, problem of some people being quarantined so then they had to zoom in for rehearsals so but we got it done and it, it came together really well. Um, I would say I want to do it more because I think it's really important for the world that we're in right now today. I'm actually going to school for musical theater and um, I'm really looking forward to finally getting there and Hopefully it'll be closer to normal than it has been. And once we're there, we can really um, create great art. Forget about Audrey. I got three more radio interviews lined up for tomorrow. And the Skid Row Herald Examiner wants a picture. Hi, my name is Andrew. I played Mr. Mushnick in West Slice of High School's production of Little Shop of Horrors. And my preferred uh, performing art is singing. Throughout our day, we constantly find ourselves stressed and kind of backed up into a corner as students. Um, living through the pandemic, especially through um, the virtual learning environment. So being able to express my creativity through the arts is something that I am really appreciative for. I was a little nervous at the beginning um, with the challenges of COVID, especially with the masks, um, trying to sing on stage and project and get diction down 
And it was a little frustrating because it was all the challenges were very new and it was hard to adapt to, but at the end we pulled through. The pandemic definitely makes me want to do the arts more. Um, it's a little more accessible now with um, online courses and groups being streamed through Zoom. Um, so that definitely helped me because I'm able, I'm able to put my place myself in more places than I usually would in a normal year. It's okay, Seymour. There's my boyfriend, Seymour Lawrence Scarbello, DDS. Hi, my name is Lindsay. I am a current senior. I just played Audrey in West High Sub High School's production of Little Shop of Horrors. And my preferred performing art is acting. It is so important to express my creativity because art honestly is a means for connection and it's something we've all ingested and something we all understand. And to be able to express myself in that way, it really helps me to connect with other people. I was hoping for maybe a show or a showcase of some sort, but I really wasn't sure. Um, but then throughout the year, they announced that we were doing Little Shop of Horrors and I was so excited and I ended up getting to play Audrey, which was a role I played my freshman year. And to be able to see that growth from freshman to senior year in that role was just amazing. And being able to be with my close friends and perform and get that closure was fantastic. We overcame so much the show you have to really physically connect with the people you're on stage with and instead with these clear masks we had to wear and without an audience to feed off of we really did a great job of being together being in the moment being in the scene and just enjoying our time i realized throughout the pandemic that um musical theater especially is quintessential especially in my life no matter what I do in life, it's something I'll always come back to and it's always, uh, it always has a deep place in my heart. Please welcome Islip Town Supervisor, Angie Carpenter. On behalf of the entire Islip Town Board, we are so proud of all of you who participated during the pandemic. In spite of the setbacks during COVID-19, you rose to the challenge. You stayed creative and continued to produce quality work. And I have to give a special shout out to all the seniors who didn't get their day in the spotlight. Regardless of what you choose to do in life, being on stage is confidence building. And I know that it will help you in so many aspects of your life. Our Islip Arts Council's High School Student Recognition Program is designed to reward performing arts students for their amazing talents. And again, we are so proud of each and every one of you, your dedication, your commitment, and most important, perhaps, your passion for the performing arts. And we're counting on you to carry that passion with you throughout your life. Congratulations, job well done. Hi, my name is Ryan Jensen. I'm one of the orchestra teachers here at West Islip High School. Last year, you know, pre-COVID, we were about to do Beauty and the Beast. And then the week that COVID um, shut everything down March 11th. We were a week away from our opening night and unfortunately we never got to perform. And then this year we were able to perform Little Shop of Horrors. We had amazing support from our administration throughout this process. We went into this year knowing that it would be very different from previous years and we had to follow CDC guidelines regarding COVID and we took every precaution to make sure that our students were always safe. It was a good opportunity for them to come together again to put something together and to work towards a common goal. I know that the parents enjoyed it a lot. They were able to come see our final dress rehearsal before our recording sessions um, and our administration was able to come down and see us perform as well. I couldn't have asked for a better year to do the show that we did. It, we were able to keep it small, which was nice because it was more intimate. Um, but trying to do a gigantic production like we have done in the past, it wasn't just, it just wasn't going to work. Um, but this year has shown me that 
working hard and working towards a common goal brings everybody together um, and it helped reestablish that sense of community that we were kind of missing. Um, but overall, it was a very interesting year and I can't wait to see what happens next year. Hello, I'm Legislator Steve Flottering. I want to congratulate the performing arts students at West Isop High School for staying with their art and being creative and thinking out of the box all during the pandemic. Good luck and congratulations, and I know you're gonna go far in your craft because again, you learned how to reinvent even during the toughest times. The Islip Arts Council's Teenies Revisited 2021 is brought to you by the generous support of Suffolk County, Five Towns College. Finding the right fit for your future college years is closer than you think. And Islip Rotary, service above self. Look, you're a plant, an inanimate object. Does this look inanimate to you, punk? If I can talk and I can move, who's to say I can't do anything I want? Like what? Like deliver, pal. Like see who get every your secret grease punk. Would you like to tell a car? Or I'll get shot on jackpot. How about a day with pain in the mind? You're gonna get it. And you like to be a big wheel. Down in a for every meal. I'm the plan to make it all real. You're gonna get it. watching this special Teenies presentation. As a nonprofit, the Islip Arts Council depends on the financial support of viewers like you. Please go to islipparts.org and make a donation so that we can continue to keep the arts alive in our community.